بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Announcing his farewell to arms, still wearing military fatigues. In this televised address to the nation, Abdul Fattah al-Sisi said he was giving up his uniform after 44 years to take on a new and difficult mission. We have to be honest with ourselves, he said. Our country is facing monumental challenges. Our economy is weak and millions are unemployed. His political ascent began last July when he led the coup that ousted the Islamist president, Mohamed Morsi. Millions were on the streets demanding change. Many saw Sisi as their savior. In the historic Cairo district where he grew up, there's plenty of appetite for a strong leader, for a new pharaoh who can bring stability. Everything for this, you make it one by one. His relatives remain here, working in the family business. His cousin, Fati, shows me the intricate arabesque craftwork Sisi learned as a boy. He says the family has mixed feelings about the field marshal's next battle. Even though we are happy, he told me, we realize he's facing a big burden. The nation has gone through tough times. He has to correct that. As happy as we are, we also pity him. Field Marshal Al-Sisi looks guaranteed a resounding victory at the polls. But Egyptians have swept away two presidents in the past three years. If he can't tackle the economic and security problems here, he could lose support fast. He's already hated by some because of the crackdown he has unleashed. More than a thousand protesters have been killed, mostly Islamists, and thousands more are behind bars. Sisi won't have much competition. This moderate Islamist, who came fourth in the last presidential vote, isn't standing this time. He insists the election will be a farce because the opposition can't campaign freely. The former candidate said a republic of fear. Since last July, human rights and personal freedoms have been at their lowest, something Egypt has never seen, even during the worst times of the former regimes. Once again, Egyptians look set to have another leader who hails from the army. Just three years after the revolution, which was supposed to end decades of military rule. Orlegiran, BBC News.